good afternoon welcome to a new vlog welcome to monday let's just realize how well i'm doing to actually pick my vlogging camera up on a monday because i usually leave it till literally like friday i thought i'm going to be on it today it is 1 30 in the afternoon and we are heading over to well we're heading towards manchester because as i was telling you all in last week's vlog I have a, well, I thought it was a PET scan today, but when I actually checked my paperwork, it's not a PET scan today. I have my MRI scan today, and I have my PET scan next Monday. So, in a way, that's better because the MRI scan is quicker and there's less things to, like, do, and it's at Christie's. Whereas my PET scan next week is actually at Wigan, which is, like, how far is it from us? An hour and a half? Like that, yeah. my scan's at 5 30 which is just not the best time is it <laughs> and also i know by that time they're gonna be running so far behind and we're waiting around in the waiting room so we thought we'd make an afternoon of it and actually do something fun rather than just like sitting around waiting to go for this scan all day we need to go well we wanted to go to ikea to just look at a few things for the kids bedrooms in the new house we just thought we'd go and have a wander around the shops for a few hours. Seems we're like heading towards civilization, where we live. There is like no big shops or anything. <laughs> so we have golf courses. Ourselves a coffee. I've not eaten since this morning. I'm saving myself for IKEA meatballs. So I've got myself an oat milk mocha. I feel like every time we go into that cafe Nero, they think I'm an absolute weirdo because I have an oat milk mocha, but then I have normal cream on top. Because I don't like... It's crazy. Yeah, but they keep saying to me, like, we do have vegan cream, you know. <laughs> but I don't want the vegan cream. I like the normal cream. I just don't like the taste of normal milk. It's like a full, full cup of normal milk. Too much milk makes me feel bad with it. Yeah, and it's just, I don't like drinking all that milk. But I love the cream, so... Mmm! Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so Rich is here, spending the day with us. Hi. <laughs> it's very dark on your side of the car. Eh? It's very dark on your side of the car. Here we go. I like to use the word mysterious. <laughs> I actually want to look for a new mirror because the mirror in my bedroom is not very good for taking selfies and I want like a really big but really thin black frame mirror. I don't know if IKEA are going to do any. I feel like I need to order, well, yeah, they, order they, it for some... like the original people that did the big black framed mirror. Yeah. Like a really thin thin frame. Do you know something? It's like the tiniest bit of black all around the mirror. Really? I know what I want. I just can't seem to find it anywhere. It needs to be wide because when I do selfies, it, it needs to be wide. Otherwise, you get bits of the mirror in it. I just need my hair doing. I have the worst grey roots ever. So I've sprayed it with... Uh, root spray. I'm hoping I can go and get my hair done tomorrow. I've not been able to get it done. It, it was in desperate need to be done anyway and then last week I had coronavirus so I couldn't get it done. Coronavirus? Is that what you even call it? <laughs> coronavirus. I actually made a little bit of an effort today. Rick says I look like a MILF. It's just been horrible to me as always. Um, but the last week I've barely worn any makeup or anything have I? I've looked pretty rough. Haven't I though? No, not really. I have. So I've got a bit of makeup on. Actually make an effort with my makeup. I actually plucked my eyebrows a little bit, which was so completely overgrown. And I also have used a new lip combo. I've not used it ages and I've not shown you on the vlog. I need to show you because it's really good. It is this. I used MAC strip down as normal, but then I've used this L'Oreal. It's their Le, Ch Le Chocolat Candyman, and it's actually so nice. I put the tiniest little bit on, and uh, I really liked it. It's like a nudie colour. It's like a nudie colour, but it's like a purpley, but it's very drying. I was say, I've also brought lip, block, lip balm to put on top because it's really drying, but I've actually just got my lip balm, so I might need to get one while I'm out because... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go get some food first, help me. 
We're going to get some food first. Yeah. I'm actually starving oh. hungry. I have literally just gone extended my Sunday casual look for today. <laughs> That's to me. I forgot the trainers I got on. <laughs> what do you mean? I forgot the Sunday comfort trainers on. Oh. We're going to go get some food and then have a little wander around but we need, Rick was like, we need to keep track on time because you just lose time in Akia, don't you? It's a time vortex. <laughs> look, when I'm like this, you look huge. <laughs> oh, I can't remember the last time I actually had this. When was the last time we had Ikea meatballs? Oh, that sounds Yummy, yummy. also look really nice with like just a mirror behind you know as a bit of a dressing table -y vibe for Effie. Yes, how nice is this for the, if you have boys <laughs> or children in general we were just saying this would be so good for the boys room because they have no excuse for not having everything organized and everything can have its own drawer I think that is such a nice find have time to go to Sainsbury's which makes me very happy because I actually love all the habitat stuff that they have in Sainsbury's like the home stuff is so nice we're gonna go and have a quick look I can take there. the hubby off it and you've got the right name for it <laughs> oh that's better isn't it Your toilet brush new toilet brush a minute we're gonna run over there and then I think we've got like half an hour and then we're gonna have to head over to Christie's to the hospital for my scan these are quite nice, Rick. These little grey little dishes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Is this what you just picked out? Yeah. Mm, don't like those. I prefer these. They're more rustic looking. These are nice. Oh yeah, for that rustic cottage. Country house that we've got. Shut up. Oh, these are cute bows. This is what I want, a bit more something like this, bows. These are lovely. I was going to need it halfway or something like that. Yeah, they're nice. I like those. These are lovely. People always ask me where my mugs are from on YouTube and half the time they're from Habitat. I 
How gorgeous is that? Do you like these ones, Eric? Richard? Do you like these ones? And I like the little nibble bowls for those. They're cute. These are the mugs that everyone always asks me about. They're from Habitat and Sainsbury's. So nice. I know I said these ones. <laughs> So I had to stop filming in Sainsbury's because I smashed a plate and embarrassed Rick. I was looking at some of the nice plates and it literally just dropped on the floor. They weren't nice. They were nice. Very embarrassing. So there were some nice things in there but we've not actually bought anything from there. We just bought snacks and so, we're going to head over to Christie's now because it's 10 to 5 and um... It was the universe telling you those plates were horrible. So we got some snacks. I got some greys, salt and vinegar. And um, these are so good if you've not tried them. Protein, peanut and chocolate bar. So I'm going to snack on these and hopefully there won't be too much traffic and then we're going to get to the hospital. But I know it's going to be, they're going to be running behind. There's no way at 5.30 that MRI scanner is going to be on time. So I thought I need to eat now before we head over there. I also need to charge my phone because I have no battery. I forgot to charge my phone last night. So I have no battery and do not want to be sitting around in the waiting room with no phone bored for like the hour that I'm probably going to be in there. Last time I was at Christie's was the morning after I came out of my brachytherapy and I remember Rick picking me up from outside and we were like yeah it's done isn't it? It doesn't even seem that long ago and that was three months ago now that was um right at the end of December and it's actually gone so quick it feels really weird to think that it's been three months and it feels really weird to be going back to the hospital and every time I went over that like five week period well seven weeks of my brachytherapy as well like I felt so rough so it's really strange to be going back feeling so well which is obviously good because when I when we drove to the Christie's every day for like that five weeks when I was having my radiotherapy every day and we drove there and back every day which is like an hour's journey isn't it just wouldn't speak <laughs> I'd be so tired I literally couldn't even speak I'd just be like asleep I had a pillow I'd just sleep all the way there all the way back it seems so weird it seems such a long time ago yeah just want to get that all clear don't we they've said that they said they won't give me the all clear now though. Well, I won't hear back from, I won't hear about the scan now. I'll hear about my scan results when I have my call with my consultant, which is beginning of May, so like five weeks. But even then they said they're not, they're not, not likely to give me the all clear. It's usually at the six month scan, they can tell you that. Yeah, it's just, if it's what they can see is gone. It's yeah. Easily, it's easily treatable if they catch, they catch it very, very early. So. Mm. so, fingers crossed for the best, but yeah, I don't know. I think in my head, I don't know about you, but I feel like I, for the last three months in my head, I've been like, oh, it's done, it's gone. Because I've just not felt ill, have I? It's just not been like it's not really happened. So now it's just weird to think like we're going back and we go back to Christie's again. But um, it should be quite quiet actually. This time of day, when I was coming out of my chemotherapy, it used to be like 6, 6.30, like at the earliest, and the hospital was absolutely dead. So it should be quite nice and quiet now. And hopefully there won't be too much of a queue. What are you gonna do while I'm in there? Just wait, I'll go in that car park and wait. You're not gonna go for a coffee or something? No, I can't drink any more coffee. <laughs> I don't know if you're allowed in now. When I was having all my treatment, no one was allowed in. I don't know whether you will be allowed in. So for all my treatment, Rick would just drop me off outside and then I'd just go in and I'd yeah, well, I went hobble in. I went to that gym, didn't I? Oh yeah, Rick, Rick signed up to a gym nearby so he used to go and like train for an hour or so while I'd go for my radiotherapy. It seems like 
another lifetime. It feels like a year ago, doesn't it? It's not three months. You went there every summer. That place you're thinking of. The music you remember. From when you were in love, let yourself hear. Love you. In an hour. It's easy to feel. Let yourself hear. Yeah, I was there on the scanner and as soon as it started doing like the noise, I almost burst into tears because it brought it all home. And it's like, you just forget about it. When you're not going to the hospital every day and like for the last three months, I've just been like switched off from it all and just completely thinking that it's just not there because I'm not having treatment and like you switch off and I, I just you get busy with other things don't you but going back into that hospital and lying there on that machine and having that same thing again of like oh god what are they seeing what are they going to find on the scan it just it's just so shit <laughs> it's just so rubbish and it makes me feel really anxious now I can feel it already like worrying about now getting my results and things like that um and i try to stay positive and i am positive but then i was laying on the on the scanner thinking to myself am i positive or like am i staying positive or am i actually being naive to think oh i'll be fine i'll be fine like that's what i always tell myself and i always think is that just like my coping mechanism and actually is it just me being really naive and actually should i be a bit more like concerned and worried but in my in my gut instinct and like in my heart i feel like i am going to be fine like i just i don't work like i do worry but deep down i know i'll be absolutely fine rick's just coming back from the garage now I asked him for his chocolates and crisps. What did you get me? I think surprised me, but oh for God's sake. Yes, perfect. So I'm gonna go to Disco. Ah, oh, well, it's a good job you got two because I don't like whisper gold. I, I couldn't remember, I panicked. Well, I saw munchies, but I didn't know whether they were substantial enough as a chocolate <laughs> or they were just a tasty treat. I'll go for the munchies. Do you want the whisper gold? I'll what take have you it got? Oh, you can um, eat natural. I yeah, I do like these actually. No. No, I'm good. You have that and I'll have the munchies. Well, so yeah. like once in fucking eight days at the minute. Well, you can't train. You can't go to the gym when you have COVID, babe. Well, I can't. I'm trying a fucking gym, but I can't get in it. <laughs> but you can't the most annoying You can't thing. go and spread it around for everybody. Are you I'm back the only, from... I'm got to be the only gym owner that fucking hates a busy gym. I've just got in bed. I'm absolutely exhausted, um, it's about quarter past nine and 
we've come home, got the boys to bed, just got straight, like we've been out of the house all day so you know when there's just all those things that you do every day, <laughs> like washing and just general like tidying up and everything and I just, I've left Rick downstairs, he's doing a little bit of work and like going through emails and stuff and um, I was like I can't go and sit in, that, in the living room because if I sit down I'm just going to fall asleep and I'm going to fall asleep on the sofa, I'm so, so tired. I've also got a really bad tummy ache, which I don't know if it's from that busker pan that they've given me. It like stops your like digestive system working or something so they can scan you better. I've had it a few times before and never felt anything from it but my tummy just feels really weird. I just like a bit of a funny tummy ache and my eyes are so sore. I don't know if I told you on the vlog but like a few weeks ago I used, I ran out of my Clinique, no it wasn't Clinique, I ran out of my Esper cleansing balm and Aldi had started doing one and I got it to try and I was like oh this is really good and then within a few days my eyes started going really dry. I've spoken about this before on the vlog, like I get it all the time, like just something, I'll just set it off and I get like really bad eczema in my eyes so for the last, I'd say two weeks, I've been putting E45 and it's just not doing anything, I'm going to have to call the doctor and try and get some steroids because it's getting so sore and dry so I've just put some E45 on and I've also just put on my Ren overnight like um, moisture balm oh my god it's so nice like you can see, see here it's so hydrating to your skin it's literally my favourite favourite um, nighttime moisturiser I'll link it in the description below and I've also um, just had a delivery of the Ren cleansing jelly which is basically like a cleansing balm. It couldn't have come at a better time because I was just about to reorder some cleansing balms and I forgot how much I love that Ren, the Ren one, the, clean, the jelly, jelly oil I think it's called. It's so good. So I've just used that but my eyes are just so sensitive at the minute. They're really sore. What a long day it's been. <laughs> Thank you for spending the day with me. A bit of an emotional day, hasn't it? It's been a bit full on and a really strange day. I feel like it's been a bit of a roller coaster of a day. I think it's really made me realise. I think it's really made me realise that I'm uh, like, you know, when like something's going on and you kind of push it down and you don't want to deal with it. I feel like I've been doing that and I need to just like be aware. I like to feel more like in touch with what I'm feeling rather than just like pushing it to the back of my mind. I don't know. I'm just feeling all, all of the emotions today. I'm actually going to finish this vlog here. I'm going to pick my phone up actually and text my sister. What is this hair? <laughs> text my sister. She is always the person that makes me feel better and like to text her and let her know how today's gone and um, just get an early night I think going to be up early in the morning to walk the dogs and I've got such a busy day tomorrow I've got a video that I've wanted to film for the last like two weeks for you and I'm basically going to put together a video of um spring summer 2022 like trends things that are big and like big trends um for this year but I want to put outfits together to show you like really wearable ways to wear them because sometimes these trends are so like out there aren't they and it's like well that's all very well and good but how do I incorporate that into my wardrobe every day so I want to do a video that's like taking like little snippets from these trends and showing you how you can actually put them into wearable outfits and actually slot them into like a normal wardrobe so I'm filming that tomorrow which is why I have tanned um although I'm probably not as brown as I would like to be um, because I just think outfits always look better with a tan, don't they? So I might put a little, another layer on tomorrow. I'll try and get this edited first thing and uploaded because I've just really been enjoying putting like vlogs and day in the life out there and sharing them with you. So I'll get that up first and then film my um, fashion video for you tomorrow as well. And then hopefully we might even get three videos out this week because I am well ahead because it's Monday. 
evening and we were already one video down so that would be good because I've been absolutely loving um, like vlogging and putting stuff out on YouTube. I used to find it really stressful and it, I used to find it like too much work but I feel like now I'm getting into the swing of it I actually really enjoy it and I want to get like more and more content out for you guys so that you know like my videos are just going to keep coming and keep coming. I think that's really important. Off for any night, hoping my eyes are going to be a lot better by tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. I'm sorry it's been so, um, I don't know, emotionally draining. I don't know if you felt that but I felt like it's been a really emotionally draining day. So good night. I love you all and we'll catch you in the comments. It's easy to feel Let yourself heal It's easy to feel